Samsung has a history of doing things very differently with their Android smartphones and tablets. Back with the Galaxy S7, to take a screenshot, you needed to press and hold the power button and the home button at the same time. However, since the Galaxy S8, Samsung has ditched the home button in favor of a dedicated Bixby button, which is right here on the side. And since there is no longer a home button, Samsung is now using the standard screenshot button shortcuts that the majority of the other Android devices have been using. So again, like I said, before with Samsung device, you needed to press and hold the power and the home button. But now all you have to do is press and hold the power and the volume down button. It's very simple. This is the same shortcut method that's been used with Android devices from Google, LG, HTC, Sony, and others. And now that Samsung devices no longer have a home button, they have decided to go back to that method. I also wanted to show you that you can do a scrolling screenshot by simply taking a screenshot and you're going to see this scroll capture button here at the bottom. You're going to want to have to tap it quickly. It's going to take a scrolling screenshot. Each time you tap that button you can see this screenshot is getting bigger and bigger. And that's it. It's a very easy screenshot method. This is helpful for those who have been switching over from an iPhone or have upgraded from the Galaxy S7 or any other older Samsung devices.